Hey, what's good, y'all? And today we are doing a ranking slash tier list of childhood shows. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give my take on all these shows. Shout out to Shipperman, or actually Snipper Shipper. Um, yeah, shout out to you, Matt, for sending me the tier list, and uh, he's the one who wanted me to go ahead and do it. So let's go ahead and get it done. Number one, Adventure Time. Adventure Time. Adventure Time is honestly a little bit before my time, so I'm not exactly someone who watched it from beginning to end, but I have seen um, episodes. I have seen a decent amount of episodes, enough to where I'll say uh, Adventure Time to me is it's fun tier. It's fun tier. Uh, between fun and great, honestly, it's, it's a great show. Just like it wasn't a huge part of my life, but... Um, love for it. It's definitely not just watchable. I can really enjoy it. It catches my eye whenever it's on. Amanda Show. Unwatchable. I hated it. I hated Amanda Show. Then again, I hated a lot of these like childhood, like kid TV shows, like live action. So once again, I'm a little bit biased when it comes to that one. You're not going to see me rank pretty much any of these highly. Um, we'll see actually. I, uh, there's a couple maybe. There's a couple, but we'll get there when we get there. Uh, I actually don't even know what that is. Angry Beaver. It would come on, and I would watch it, and I wouldn't switch channels, but I can't say I really ever enjoyed it that much, I want to say. Sometimes fun, but mostly just watchable. Ant Farm, no idea what that is. Austin Alley, no idea. Avatar The Last Airbender. Now, I know a lot of people are going to have very strong, very positive opinions towards it. Um, I haven't seen enough. For me, it's between never seen and watchable. I've seen it before. Just, it's a show where you can't just kind of jump into an episode. It really does have to be a show you uh, give your time and attention to. So, I'm going to say never seen. Um, but if I had to rank it, I'd say watchable. I don't think I really switched the channel too often when it came on. This one, um, I don't really know too much. Ben 10. Once again, all right, I'm gonna have to go ahead and crush some people and say Ben 10 for me, it's 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 fun. Actually, no, I like Adventure Time more, so it's like Ben 10. I'm gonna have to move this to great tier. I'm moving Adventure Time to great tier, fun tier is gonna be um, Ben 10's introduction because it's like it's a fun show, it's a good show, but I just never once again really kept up with it. Uh, no idea what that is. Big Time Rush, no, 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 no. Cat Dog. Ugh, cat dog, cat dog. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give that. I don't know. I've always found it watchable. Once again, I don't think it's a particular show I love, but it was watchable. Cat scratch, watchable. I don't really have much of an opinion. Um, I remember that show. I just it's kind of badly cropped. Uh, I'm gonna give this watchable also. Um. Can't remember the name of it, but yeah, uh, it was a cool show. I don't think I ever skipped it. Uh, Clarence, never seen Cory in the House, unwatchable. Cory in the House, oh my god. Um, I'm not gonna talk about that's a raven right now, but yeah, Cory in the House is just, uh, and I'm a Cory looking dude, man. Like back in the day, at the very least, back in the day. Um, yeah, it looks like Cory. I did. Uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Now, this right here is my first god tier. And I I'm a simp, man. Freaking Courage the Cowardly Dog did so many things right. It was funny. It was fun. You kind of came to love the characters. Even Eustace. The Eustace was like, you know, someone didn't like him, but he's not supposed to be a likable character, obviously. So it's like, it's fine. And he was like, you know, at times, uh, extremely fun, man. Extremely funny. Uh, I don't really have much to say about Mario, sweetheart, uh, courage, uh, he represents so many great things, man, just trying to keep his family together, um, I love courage, too, and it's like, it did so good at introducing me to horror, I feel like, I feel like courage was definitely, in a way, uh, something that got me into horror, so I gotta go ahead and show the most respect to it, um, Phantom, Danny Phantom, watchable. Dexter Laboratory, once again, all right, I'm showing my age, all right, I'm a little biased, but I have to go ahead and give Dexter's Laboratory a uh, god tier, man, freaking, I love it, I still watch it to this day, 
Um, duck, duck, duck. Watchable. Uh, yes, yeah, watchable, I guess. Drake and Josh, once again, what, I'm biased, man. Unwatchable. I hate it. I can't stand it. Never liked it. Um, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I'm going to say great. Oh, I don't. But I do want to say um, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, man, was. You already know what it is. Uh, I don't really have a lot to say about Ed, and, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. If you know, you know, man. But uh, yeah, it was just one of those shows where I loved it anytime it came on. Very odd parents, or fairly odd parents. Um, kind of torn. Uh, I'm say great here. I'm say great. The later seasons kind of killed it with SpongeBob. Man. You already know SpongeBob is gonna be god here, bro. The list better have SpongeBob on it. Um, never seen. I think I have, but don't care to rank it. Oh my god. Um. Oh my god, I forgot the name, like the full name, because the name was like long as hell. Um, the Froster Home for Imaginary Something. I don't know. Either way, uh, great, great tier, great tier. I'm gonna say God tier. I'm gonna say God tier. It might change. I know it's kind of crazy. I forgot the name, but hey, man, listen. Okay, memory is kind of like, I don't know, bad tier. Yeah, memory is bad tier. Game Shakers, never watched it, never watched it, never watched it. Um, I'm say watchable. Um, I don't recall the name, but it's watchable. Hannah Montana. I'm gonna say bad. I'm. A, you know what? I'm gonna give Hannah Montana respect. <laughs> More respect than unwatchable. Okay. I'm gonna say Hannah Montana is probably gonna be bad tier, and that's actually giving it a little bit of praise because, like, y'all know how I feel about these type of shows. Uh, I don't watch them. If I do watch them, um, I probably hate them. Uh, don't know Henry Danger. All right, so hey Arnold, I'm gonna say hey Arnold is fun tier. Yeah, I'm gonna say fun tier. Didn't hate it, never skipped it, but it was uh not something I loved. Mm, this is Zim, right? I need to look this up real quick. Yeah, Invader Zim, Invader Zim. Invader Zim, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one. I'm skipping iCarly, iCarly. Actually, after everything we know about iCarly, that's unwatchable. Um, Invader Zim. Mm, oh, that's not bad. Too. I don't know what I'm looking at there. Invader Zim is Frontier. It's Frontier. Jesse, no. Uh, Jimmy Neutron, I'm gonna say Frontier. Yeah, Jimmy Neutron's Frontier. I was never a huge fan. Honestly, the animation kind of creeped me out back in the day, but it was it was good. Uh, Johnny Bravo, I'm gonna say fun tier. Johnny Bravo is a clown. Um, he was a character to be made fun of, but he was also hilarious too. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give Johnny Bravo a uh, fun tier. Um, Johnny, some I forgot your name, bro. But um, I'm gonna say watchable tier. <laughs> I think his name was Johnny too, right? Jonas, no, no, no. No, Kim Possible, Frontier, Kim Possible, um, she was like, I don't know, my childhood baddie, yo. Um, Panda, no, no, Lizzie McGuire, damn, I almost want to put Lizzie McGuire as watchable tier, bro. I don't like it, it's like... It brings back memories, cause I think my sister love, uh, loved Lizzie, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna give it watchable. Actually, no, I'm gonna give it bad. <laughs> I'm gonna give it watchable, yo. No, I don't know, I'm torn. Um, we'll watch, bad, 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 okay. No, watchable, there we go. Fuck it, dude, we're going watchable. Don't know what you are. Um, Spinoff, maybe? No. Is that like the cookie dude right there? Peppa Pig, no. Ian Suburb, watchable. No, no. Ooh, what a shitty spinoff, dude. Somebody kills one. Powerpuff Girls, got here. Powerpuff Girls, man. Powerpuff Girls, I don't know. I love Powerpuff Girls, man. Definitely, definitely top tier for me. Powerpuff Girls was a show. I am not, I am not ashamed to claim Powerpuff Girls as like that show, bro. It was so good. Proud Family, I'm gonna say great tier, honestly. 
I gotta go ahead and work on God tier. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some things down. Courage, you stay there. Dex is Laboratory, you stay there. Ed and Eddie, you gotta go down to great tier. Um, Fosters, I'm gonna go ahead and move you down to great tier. And we're gonna go from there. Rabbit Invasion, no recess. I'm gonna say watchable. Regular show, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go ahead and move actually both of these to fun. I don't know why, like the regular show and recess, they kind of remind me of each other. I don't know why it is. It's just a thing where it's like, I feel like I have to go ahead and call them equal. Um, I remember the names like Rocco. Never really watched it, bro. Rugrats, great tier. I loved Rugrats back in the day, man. I had some Rugrats swag, and yeah, I, I was definitely a Rugrat fan, man. SpongeBob, there we go. Obvious god tier, um, top tier, probably one of the best uh, cartoons of all time, or childhood shows, or anything. If it's even childhood show, because I would still watch a good episode of SpongeBob easily. Um,. These are like on like the exact same level. I would almost put SpongeBob on like, you know, a different tier by itself. That's how good I believe SpongeBob to be. Steven Universe, watchable. Um, didn't watch much, but watchable. Teen Titans. Um For me personally, God tier. For me personally, Teen Titans is definitely God tier. I was so hard because I was a fanboy on um Teen Titans Go, but Teen Titans Go is actually really good. Uh, if I saw that, I would definitely give it praise for being a great show, a great spinoff, honestly, or a great um, reboot. I don't know exactly what it was, or a new series. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, no. That's so Raven. I'm going to say Frontier. I actually, it's all subjective, so I'm going to put a great tier for me as a black man. It's always cool to see, like, oh, as a black kid, it was cool to see a black family. And once again, you know, I didn't want to spoil it, but I have to say this is like the only like live action type show that I actually watched. And it's biased. Yeah. I don't think it's necessarily better than like all these shows I skipped or like, you know, Hannah Montana or Lizzie McGuire. But uh, it holds a special place in my heart. So I'm going to go ahead and put it there. Gumball, the adventure of Gumball. I, I watched it like, you know, uh, pretty recently, honestly pretty recently and I'll say Gumball is great tier. Fun, fun show. Um Mighty B no. Actually I know enough to say unwatchable. Um The Sweet Life, Unwatchable Same thing, Unwatchable Superhero Family that's on T V on Disney basically I feel like or Nickelodeon, whatever like, you know, those networks unwatchable. I haven't even seen it but I know that's just unwatchable, bro. The troop haven't seen it. Total drama, fun. I'm gonna say fun tier. Tough puppy, no, no, no. Bear bears. Mm, you know I've watched the bear bears with some baddies, bro. So I'm a little bit biased. I'm gonna say it's fun. Winging it, no, no, no. Uh, same thing. Uh, was it Waverly Place? Unwatchable. Zoe 101. Unwatchable. I don't know what that is. So, um, after going through it fully, man, I don't know how long we've been here. I can say this is my tier list for uh, childhood shows. Let's go ahead and take a look at it, man, real quick. Let's see if we need to make any adjustments. God tier. Once again, SpongeBob, pretty much on tier by itself. Courage, Dexter, Powerpuff Girls. Um, obviously, I have a time period, and these shows were like, you know, the best ones in this time period. Uh, great tier. We have Adventure Time. Once again, arguably, in my opinion, God tier. Uh, Fairly Odd Parents. Uh, if we're talking the early seasons, God tier. If we're talking as a whole, I'm going to say great tier. Uh, I know I'm not even taking account like all these shows as like a whole. Like maybe you had to make a case for his thing too. Like SpongeBob, bare minimal. Even with like the later seasons, which might not be that great. I don't know. Um, still puts it like pretty much in a tier by itself. So yeah, Teen Titans. Once again, love it. Uh, so I don't really have much to say about God tier. Um, let's go back to like Fairly Odd Appearance. Um, yeah, Ed, Ed and Eddie. I'll say great tier, proud family, same thing. Um, imaginary home for, or the home for imaginary friends. 
Uh, yeah, it's gonna go ahead and go great tier. Rugrats, Rugrats, Rugrats. Definitely great tier for me. That's a Raven, yeah, Gumball. Ben 10, Ben 10. What do we say about Ben 10, bro? Once again, I'll give Ben 10 fun tier. Hey Arnold. Oops, I didn't even do that. Hey Arnold's fun tier. Hey Arnold's fun tier. I really enjoyed it back in the day, but it's like, I don't think it's like great tier for me. I don't think Hey Arnold was any time like much watch TV. Uh, I'm actually go ahead and move Jimmy Neutron down to watchable tier. Uh, Invader Zim is a lot of fun. Johnny Bravo, a lot of fun. Kim Possible, same thing. Uh, I don't really have much to say about the rest of these. Total Drama Action. Uh, it's between fun tier and watchable tier, but I don't think it's a really bad show, so it can go even higher. Uh, Bear Bears, once again, um, it's fun. It's, it's fun, kind of cute. I'm going to say watchable, actually. I'm going to move it down just a little bit. Angry Beaver, Cat Dog, um, Cat Scratch. I'm gonna move down to bad tier, dude. I'm gonna move down. Um, I actually didn't care for it at all. So I can't tell what this show is because, like, there's another one down here. Um, like I said, I somewhat remember the show. Um, I also give it watchable. Danny Phantom. It was a fine show. Y'all give it watchable for sure. Uh, Doug. I don't remember what this is. Why do I have this up here, actually? Um,. Yeah, I'm gonna say never seen. Is it like Johnny Blaze? Johnny Blaze. Uh, it was watchable. Lizzie McGuire. I have to be honest, it's bad tier for me. Uh, Phoenix and Ferb's cool. Jimmy Neutron's cool. Steven Universe is fine. Yeah, the rest of these are actually fine. Um, this one, I'm gonna say like never seen because I just like don't know enough. A lot of these shows are interchangeable with unwatchable because I would just simply skip them every single time and not care for a single episode that came on. Technically, I have seen Peppa Pig, but I mean, I feel like it's kind of unfair for me to bring Peppa Pig. I was never young enough for it. Um, yeah, same thing with, I guess, Avatar. Technically, I have seen it. I just haven't ever got like into it. Um, so I'm gonna move it up to watchable tier, honestly. Yeah, cause it's watchable, just I haven't given it a fair chance. Either way, man, this is my tier list. I want you to go ahead and in the comment section, let me know what show you think I should give a second chance in modern time. Uh, whichever comment I see the most or whichever one has the most upvotes, I will go ahead and give it a consideration to watch episodes of that show. If you want me to do like a particular episode season or anything else, uh, let me know and I will check it out and I will do a review on that one. But beyond that, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to leave a like, but beyond that, peace out, man. Take it easy.